The home opener next up against the Virginia Cavaliers under the lights here at Memorial Stadium. I expect from one week to the next, FIU to Virginia, and one year from the next, beating Virginia on the road last year, a big challenge with the Cavaliers coming to town on Saturday night. Absolutely. Great, uh, great challenge for our program. Very well coached football team. Coach Mendenhall does a great job with his staff, and, and they're very physical, and uh, they have an identity of what they do, and, and he's in his year three there and establishing that, and your kids play extremely hard, great on defense, and very, very good on special teams, and their offense is extremely explosive. So um, it's going to be a, um, a great opportunity for our, our young team and, and uh, um, a chance for us to grow as, as a team, you know, from week one to week two is what you want to see, and I thought our preparation this week has been uh, very strong, and, uh, but it's got to show out on game day. Coach, as you prepare defensively for that explosive offense, as you mentioned, what's the keys for that front seven to take those steps needed from one week to the next? You know, a lot of it's just fundamentals, you know, and, and being able to defeat blocks, fit your gaps, be disciplined. Um, the eyes of the backers in those fits and understanding where they're supposed to be. And, and uh, you know, you make a mistake against one of these guys and it, it'll be a long touchdown run, you know, or a big play, and that's what you can't do. So I think that that's a key part of that. And I think that uh, we've emphasized, you know, kind of back to basics. You know, sometimes you get so many new faces in there, you, you have to realize that, uh, you know, when you have that many new guys, there's going to be some, some challenges with that. And, and so we've been trying to go back and get the fundamentals corrected. Coach, last week, 10 different players had at least one reception as far as the passing game is concerned. How important is it to, one, spread around the football, or two, have maybe a guy or two that, that stands out in that regard? Well, the bottom line is, is that you want to be productive as a unit, you know, and, and uh, whether 10 guys catch balls or three guys catch balls, you know, obviously from a defensive perspective, it makes it harder on the defense when you can't key on a certain guy. And so we have the ability to get the ball to a lot of different individuals that can make plays, you know, and so we want to put that kind of pressure on, on the defense. And so um, we, we basically take what they're giving us. And so you really kind of never know who's going to rise up that particular game. And uh, but several guys uh, did awesome things and and the quarterbacks did a great job of getting those balls to them. Coach, talk about the excitement from the team. One, it's, as it's always an important date to have that, that home opener under the lights with, with the big fans, or a lot of fans here supporting the team, but especially a year like this with the construction of the South End Zone, the debut of the new Memorial Stadium. Absolutely, beautiful, beautiful place. We just so appreciate uh, those that have supported us and creating these opportunities you know, in the South End Zone and, and how, how awesome that looks. And then the, the renovated team room that uh, we opened this week and our guys really appreciate that. And, and uh, it's, it's uh, you know, making us a first class program and how we look when people come to watch us and, and see our facilities. So those things are important and our players do understand that. And uh, it's just great to be home. You know, we're excited to have a great, uh, great crowd here cheering these guys on and uh, we feed off of that. We need you, we need the support. And and uh, we want our guys to play with unbelievable passion, whether it's home or away, but it's really special when it's home. Finally, Coach, the team room, as you mentioned, got uh, the renovations, things like that, and that's more of a behind the scenes, but take us through the importance of a, a place like that that the team spends obviously so much time. Well, we do, first of all. So you want to, your guys to understand that uh, that they're important and that the facilities that they have are first class and, and also recruiting. I mean, recruits come through here. We, usually, we do a lot of things out of that room in our recruits on their visits, and, and it, it sends a message that uh, this place is first class, you know, and uh, obviously um, our, our school understands that and they're investing in that direction. So it's a it's a it's a recruiting piece, it's a pride in your program piece, and it just allows you to be able to take that next step as a program.